So, in our previous lecture, we learned about the basic of structural analysis, the method of running structural analysis, the type of structural analysis, and the software we generally use to run structural analysis. So, in this lecture, we will learn about importance of structural analysis. Then we will be uh, we will be learning more about SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS simulation. So, let's move forward. So, what is the importance of structural analysis? Why we need structural analysis? As we can see here, structural analysis is important as it provides the basis for structural design and also it evaluates whether a specific structural design will be able to withstand the structural and internal stresses and forces. The structural analysis helps to determine the cause of a structure, the cause of a structural failure. As we have um, learned from the definition and basic concept of structural analysis, we have got an idea of, of uh, why we need structural analysis. So we will not talk much about it here. So let's move, move forward. What are the benefits of a structural analysis? The benefits of a structural analysis is uh, cannot be expressed by words for an industry who, whose main purpose is production. Uh, structural analysis comprises the set of mechanics theories that obey physical laws required to study and predict the behavior of structures. The subject of structural analysis are engineering articles whose integrity is judged largely on their ability to withstand loads. The most important benefits, benefits is provided are it reduces production cost. How it reduces production cost? Let's say we are manufacturing a, a certain a model. Let's say we are manufacturing a, a shaft. So how much load the shaft will carry and how much, uh, how much stress the shaft can uh, take it, uh, uh, if we me run the analysis after the construction, we will, we, will, we will need to manufacture more and more shafts. But if we run the structure analysis before going to the production in a software uh, or in a simulation system, um, we can uh, easily reduce the cost of manufacturing more and more, and more product. So by the similar, uh, the next benefit it provides is it saves time for the production process. So as we uh, uh, heard before, it reduces the production cost similarly. In the similar way, it reduces the production time. Uh, let's move to the next slide. So in this section, we will talk about SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS simulation. What SOLIDWORKS does and how, what SOLIDWORKS simulation does. Let's move next. So what is SOLIDWORKS? As you can see, here is the logo for SOLIDWORKS. It is a product from Dassault system. system. So, so SOLIDWORKS is a parametric solid feature, feature-based CAD system. We are saying that it is a solid feature-based CAD system. What do you mean? What do we mean by CAD system? CAD system is computer-aided designing system. We can design any product, any part file in SOLIDWORKS. So, as opposed to many other CAD systems that were originally developed in a Unix environment and only later ported to Windows, SOLIDWORKS has, from the very beginning, been developed significantly for the Windows operating system. SOLIDWORKS simulation has also been specifically developed for the Windows operating system. Full integration between SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS simulation has been possible because both of the programs are native Windows operating system. So we will now move to the next part which is what is SOLIDWORKS simulation. So SOLIDWORKS simulation is a design analysis tool based on numerical technique finite element analysis or FEA. We have learned a little about FEA in our previous lecture. So SOLIDWORKS simulation belongs to the family of engineering analysis software products developed by SRAC, now a part of SOLIDWORKS com corporation. So as we uh, discussed before, there are a lot of s softwares to run so, so structural analysis uh, on product or uh, part files, but we have chosen SOLIDWORKS as this process uh, provides uh, the more basic way to run a structural analysis and it is available uh, and it's easy to run structural analysis on SOLIDWORKS. So 
uh, we, I hope we get a brief idea about SOLIDWORKS and SOLIDWORKS simulation when we will uh, design a model and then mathematical model and then run simulation on it we will be more clear about the purpose and the process of uh, running SOLIDWORKS simulation so without uh, more uh, further ado let's move to the next slide so SOLIDWORKS simulation comes with uh, some bundle it, so SOLIDWORKS simulation has uh, some bundle in it so what are the bundles SOLIDWORKS simulation comes with SOLIDWORKS simulation comes in different bundles or applications designed to best suit the needs of different users with the expectation of SOLIDWORKS simulation express which is an integral part of SOLIDWORKS all SOLIDWORKS simulation bundles are add-ins that means we can uh, use the use these uh, bundles are add as add-ins a brief description of all the capabilities of different bundles are described below so uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation comes with SOLIDWORKS simulation express SOLIDWORKS simulation the general one the SOLIDWORKS simulation professional then the next one is Solid, SOLIDWORKS simulation premium so uh, what does SOLIDWORKS simulation express does the static analysis of parts with simple types of loads and supports SOLIDWORKS by SOLIDWORKS simulation express we can run static analysis of parts with simple types of loads and supports this is the most simplest way the SOLIDWORKS sim general simulation the static analysis of parts and assemblies so we can uh, run uh, static analysis of uh, parts and assemblies in SOLIDWORKS uh, simulation the SOLIDWORKS simulation professional what does it do the static thermal buckling frequency drop test optimization and fatigue analysis of parts and assemblies so we can see SOLIDWORKS simulation professional can do a lot more of um, uh, analysis than the SOLIDWORKS express and SOLIDWORKS simulation uh, it can run static analysis thermal analysis buckling analysis frequency drop test optimization and fatigue analysis also so uh, the next one is as we learned before SOLIDWORKS simulation premium so SOLIDWORKS simulation premium provides all capabilities of SOLIDWORKS simulation professional plus non-linear and dynamic analysis so it is the more advanced uh, type of uh, simulation so we will learn uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation through a series of hands-on lessons intermixed with FEA fundamentals in the next slides so let's move forward so as we said before the finite element analysis or FEA process is a vast process and we will learn the details about FEA in this section so as we described before finite element analysis it is a powerful tool for engineering analysis FEA used to solve problems ranging from very simple to very complex design engineer use FEA during the product development process to analyze the design in progress time constraints and limited availability of product of product data data call for many simplification of the analysis models at the other end of the scale specialized analyst implement FEA to solve very advanced problems such as vehicle crash dynamics metal forming or analysis of biostructures FEA theory numerical problems for problem formulation and solution methods become completely transparent to user when implemented into modern commercial software including SOLIDWORKS simulation regardless of the project complexity or the field of application the fundamental steps in FEA projects are always the same be it for example a structural thermal or acoustic analysis the starting point for any analysis is geometric model so uh, we have come to uh, we'll, what we learned from this uh, topic here that we learned the details of FEA analysis that we can see that FEA analysis can, can be FEA can be used by engineers to run the crash dynamics or the metal forming or uh, analysis of biostructure or any kind of from simple from starting to a shape design to the uh, to the end of a airplane uh, flying on sky we can run any type of analysis using fin finite element analysis or FEA 
so FEA is now working as the backbone of all the simulation softwares available. Uh, it's starting from ANSYS, Abacus, or SolidWorks simulation. So uh, let's move to the next slide. Uh, finite element analysis and SolidWorks. So uh, as we discussed before, uh, FEA is the backbone of so, uh, simulation softwares. So how it is used in SOLIDWORKS? In our case, we will work on a SOLIDWORKS model of a part of an assembly, of a part or an assembly. To this model, we will assign material properties and we will define loads and restraints. Next, as always the case, when using a tool based on the method of numerical approx approximation, we will discretize the model intended for analysis. The discretization process, better known as meshing. Here is a new term named meshing. We will learn about meshing in the next slides. Uh, meshing means you split the geometry into relatively small and simply shaped entities called finite elements. The elements are called finite to emphasize that the fact that they are not infinitesimally small but only reasonably small in a comparison to the overall model size. So the name finite element comes that comes from this uh, comes from that uh, the model is divided in finite elements of small, small members and then uh, the, uh, the stress or the strain or the pressure are applied on these finite elements of small numbers and then the calculation is calculated. That, that is why it is called finite element method or finite element analysis. So ne let's move next. So what are the steps of finite element analysis? So as we discussed before, the basic steps for any kind of uh, structural analysis is all the same for uh, if we use finite element analysis. When working with the finite in working with finite elements, the FEA solver approximate the wanted solution. For example, deformation or stresses for the entire model with the assembly of simple solutions for individual in elements. From the perspective of FEA software, its application of FEA requires three steps. What are the steps? Pre-processing, solution, and post-processing. Pre-processing means the type of analysis, material, properties, loads, and restraints are defined and the model is split into finite elements. This is the pre-processing pre -processing uh, step. Now then the, we came uh, to the solutions uh, where uh, we compute the desired result then the post processing uh, where we, we generally analyze the result. We will follow the preceding three steps every time we use SOLIDWORKS simulation. So from the perspective of FEA methodology we can list the following steps. In the, so we can we saw the three steps general step there. Now we can see the uh, methodology steps here. So the four steps are building the mathematical model to run as uh, as structural analysis using a FEA in SOLIDWORKS. We will need to build a mathematical model. Then we need to build the finite element model. Then we need to solve the finite element model. Then we will result analyze the result. So hope this is clear now. Finite element analysis. It is a more uh, detailed uh, topic. Uh, I hope you, uh, I I can. I am able to clear it to you. Uh, if not, please uh, uh, you can search some anywhere about this and you, you can learn a lot more about finite element analysis.